Hello everyone, my name is Russell Orr. We at Discovery Park of America hope you're staying safe in these times. We're certainly trying to do so as well, but since we're the only people in here right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my mask off. Now, it is my job as an education specialist at Discovery Park to get as many people excited about science in the region as possible. And today we have a special treat for you. This is a special video where I'm going to show you all of the different layers in a spacesuit. Uh, this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide to all of the 11 layers that make up our spacesuits. Now, it's of course important to point out that as space travel has advanced, the different spacesuits have changed too. And not every spacesuit is, is designed for every purpose but they all, whether it's China today, America in the 1960s, Russia, Europe, no matter who is designing a spacesuit, it has to do three things. It has to keep the astronaut cool, that's one. It has to protect the astronaut from debris and injury, that's two. And it also has to give enough air, water, all the things for life while maintaining a shape that a person can work in space. So, Step by step, people came up with solutions for these problems. So if I were an astronaut, I would wear the spacesuit with this side out. The layer closest to my body, the liner is designed to wick away sweat and perspiration. It feels very soft. It feels like a Kleenex. And above that is called the liquid cooling garment. Now, this in a real spacesuit would have over 300 feet of tubing and this 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 uh, fabric right here would hold it close to your body even if you moved and it could wick the heat away from your body because it circulates cold water so remember people are warm-blooded not cold-blooded so you have to get rid of that excess heat and this is the part that holds the air the inner the uh, the middle part of the spacesuit holds uh, the oxygen and the restraint, it's, it's like a balloon, and this is what it does, this holds the air in, just like blowing up a balloon. The thing is, though, you don't want your spacesuit to be shaped like a balloon. So this gives protection and support to that bladder, the, the airtight layer. Now, spacesuits do leak a little bit at a time. Um, maybe enough to fill up a quart jar with air every few minutes, but not enough to endanger the astronauts. So these, these feel very slick, like uh, rubber gloves do. Or, uh, and this material that's the harder layer, it feels tough, like blue jeans do. Now, this liner is interwoven with different pieces of fabric in order to give it strength and to make sure that it doesn't tear. And I, I have touched this before, and the thing that I remember about it the most is that the liner, this outside part, was cold when I touched it. It's designed to be really tough uh, to not let anything scratch it, and uh, this outer layer is designed all in all to reflect heat away from the astronaut, because when you're up above the atmosphere, the sun is very dangerous. And if I hold this just right, I'll bet I could even reflect light in this room. And the entire point of these five layers, this is aluminized mylar reinforced with scrim, and the more reflective side is away from the astronaut. So it reflects radiation and the sun's rays away from the astronaut. You might have a material similar to this in your thermos. It's a very good insulator, and the astronaut needs to be insulated. And this is the outer layer of the spacesuit. If you were going to shake hands with an astronaut while he were wearing his spacesuit, uh, the outer layer of the thermal meteor uh, meteoroid shell feels like a seat belt. It's really slick, but very strong. And it's designed with Teflon-coated fabric on the white side, and the dark side is Nomex and Kevlar. Now, those materials are what are used to make a bulletproof vest or to make the uh, coat for a firefighter. 
And that's used in spacesuit because it is hundreds of degrees in space. And you certainly don't want something that would burn, but you also have to be careful in space because it's filled with tiny rocks and particles and dust that are going as fast as a bullet. So this layer, all at once, the uh, protection layers will stop debris and stop radiation from hurting an astronaut. They'll reflect heat back out. And even if something were to hit so hard as to go through this, the layer below the upper liner part would stop that from going further in and affecting the lower layers where it contained all of the air and the shape so the astronaut could work. And these, these fabrics are actually designed to allow movement at the astronaut's limbs as well as to keep them safe. So it's about movement and this underneath here, the part closest to the astronaut would keep them cool and keep them healthy with as little friction as possible so they could work. So this, all 11 layers together, is how a spacesuit worked. We're so delighted we can bring you this content. Uh, Discovery Park of America loves to partner with folks in our region in order to uh, spread uh, STEM and all kinds of uh, educational content. We hope that this has inspired you to see beyond and hope that you come visit with us or look into our virtual content as soon as you can. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy your day.